Hey, what's up, Kenny Gardeners? Hope you're well. Uh, no new songs today for music class. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of reading and playing. Uh, I'm gonna be using the piano, the keyboard, to play along uh, with some music today. Um, and I want you to play along with me as well. Now, if you have a musical instrument around the house, uh, great, a violin, a keyboard, uh, a drum, a guitar, something around the house, uh, you can play along uh, using that. Or if you wanna make up your instrument, uh, you can clap, you can lap, uh, you, I've seen people use use pots and like wooden spoons and make a drum like that. If you want to create your own instrument, go for it. Uh, be use your imagination. Be creative. Uh, but I want you to have an instrument in your hand, even if it's just your hands. So there are three links in the description below in the video. One is to what's called a metronome. A metronome is that ticking machine that helps keep us in time. It kind of sounds like this. So I like when you have a metronome going because it helps keep you, uh, keep you on beat and it gives you the speed of the song that you are playing. Uh, there's also links to two pieces of music. One's called Basic Music Notation. Let's go, so let's go ahead and open that up. And what we have here is we have the notes that we have learned so far from music class. And so you see each note has a rest that has the same title and therefore it's worth the same number of beats. So at the top of the page, you have a whole note, which is worth four, and then right next to it, you have a whole rest, which is worth four. Now, if you skip down to the half notes and the half rest, the whole rest and the half rest look very, very similar. They look very, very similar. So I have a tip for you on how to remember the difference. A half rest, you fill it up from the bottom. Now, if you look at the half rest, it's on the bottom line. It's sitting on that line. So you have to fill up something from the bottom, all right? Where a whole rest, you fill it up to the top, all the way, you fill it whole. So a whole rest is bumped up to the top line, it's filled up whole, whereas a half rest, it's filled up halfway from the bottom. Hopefully that helps. So super easy. Now, let's do something easy. Let's do uh, whole notes on, whole rests off, all right? I'm gonna turn on my metronome. Here's four beats. Go ahead and play along. And one, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, rest. Two, three. Easy peasy. Now go ahead and do that with dotted half notes, threes. Here we go. And one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then half notes. Here we go. And one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And then quarter notes, I like doing them in groups of four. All right? So each quarter note gets one of these clicks. Here we go. Let's do the bottom line. Four clicks on, four clicks off. Two, three, and. One, 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 one. Rest, 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 rest. One, 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 rest, 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 rest. There you go. So have the metronome going, feel the beat. Now, I wrote you a song. I wrote you a song. Uh, it's a rainy April, so why not call it April Showers? If you want to go ahead and pull that up, we have a song which combines everything that we just talked about, including the stuff in class. And so you've got some rests in there. Take a second to figure out which one is the half rest. Again, you fill up halfway from the bottom and then whole rest, you fill it up to the top. All right, so figure out which one's a half rest, which one's a whole rest. I'm gonna pop, I want you to pause the video so you can figure out what's going on. Now we're back. So let's go ahead and uh, play the song. I'm gonna get my metronome going. Have your music in front of you. Here's four beats. One, two, three, here we go. song there you go all right let's stop this metronome so i encourage you have an instrument in your hand get back to reading music uh you can use your hands if you just want to clap and uh 
let's see what you can do. If you are feeling adventurous, kindergartners, get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and write your own song. Use the notes in the music and write your own song. Practice your fours, your twos, your ones. Try it out. Write your own song. You can come up with a really cool name if you want to. So, excuse me. Thank you, kindergartners, so much. Hope you're well, and I'll uh, see you next week. Thanks.